So, Sunday's content is going to be 96 rated with the crown on his head as well. Footies, Sadio Mane. Let's put him into a team and see if he's worth the free squads. So then, Sadio Mane's 96 rated. He is coming in with 5 star, 5 star, 5 foot 9 and high medium work rate. He's going to cost you an 88 rated squad with a team of the week or a team of the season. An 86 rated squad and that's it. And then an 85 rated squad with a team of the week or a team of the season. He can play. Centre forward, left mid, striker and left wing. So his ability to play elsewhere in your team is quite good. Of course, links to the GOAT that is Cristiano Ronaldo as well. He has got finesse plus, chip shot and power shot silver with ping power silver as well, which is very good to have. He's got rapid, flair, first touch, tricks to plus, relentless plus and quick step plus. So... His playstyle pluses are okay. I mean, Relentless is good to have, but not really on forwards, in my opinion. Quick Step Plus is very good. Tricks to Plus without Power Shot Plus doesn't really matter. And, of course, Finesse Plus is arguably the best playstyle plus on the game. You can see that we've already applied a chem style to him, and that is the Hawk. The reason for that is I wanted to max out the pace and the shooting where I could. So, with the Hawk, he goes up to 99 pace. He's 96 and 97 by default. He's then got 95 attack positioning up to 99. 96 finishing up to 99 as well. Same with the shot power. And he's got 89 long shots, which is getting boosted to 97. Penalties and volleys really, really do not matter. His passing is good in the right areas. Good vision. Good crossing. I'll say good vision. Very good vision. Good crossing. Very good short pass. Long pass and curve on a card like this don't really matter either. It's a shame he doesn't have whip pass though, as I think that's a great play style for wide players, which I think Mane is. He's got good dribbling, a bit low on the composure at 92, but good agility, balance, reactions, okay ball control and dribbling. 97 jumping up to 99, doesn't really matter. 95 head and accuracy, 93 stamps, the relentless plus might actually play a part on this card. 82 strength and 87 aggression. Of course, the strength boosted up to 86 and then the aggression up to 95. I like this card. I think he's actually really fairly priced, but... I don't know if he's going to play too well in game due to the fact he's got some pretty stinky play styles. That's how we're setting up with him. Let's get into a few games and see what he can do. Here we are then. First game coming up with Manny Osane. Let's see what he can do. This guy's got a good team. Oh, he's nearly won that back because... Oh, my God. The Relentless has actually nearly made me win the ball back there. This guy's a bit of a nerd by the looks of it. But so far, his pressing is, is quite good, it feels like. Oh, Manny could be away there. Dangerous pass. We have found him, though. Oh, I see. For me personally, guys, at this stage of the game, I think I prefer Rapid Plus to uh, Quick Step Plus. And, yeah, I kind of saw it right there. Mane making that run again. It's a good run. And it's a great sprint boost out there as well. Of course, he's got the Ping Pass Silver too. You've got to remember that. Sadio Mane. Oh, he's got a score. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, unlucky again there from Mane. We haven't really seen too much of him so far. This guy I'm playing is really, really good, though. There is Mane. Oh, it's good dribbling. I don't know how we've not managed to get around there, though. Oh, oh, it's nice. Oh, that's nice from Mane. That is unlucky again. Oh, it's got that five-star weak foot as well. Finish shot time. Good save again from Petacek. Nice, Mane. Been a bit of defensive work for us there, too. It's back into him. He's actually been really good so far, guys. He's very, very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I shouldn't have done the Elastico. Nice. Mane. Oh, his sprint boost. Okay. What? How did he miss up all that went in? But yeah, guys, his sprint boost is incredibly sweaty. Like, it's so good. He's won it back. There's that sprint boost. Oh, my God, guys. He, he might have the best sprint boost on FC24. No cap. He might actually do. He might, he might just have the best sprint boost on the game. Do you know what as well, guys? This is very, very random to bring you back here. I actually think the Relentless on him is helping out very much to press. You know... I know that is what it does, but it feels very, very good on the press. I, I have to say, I'm enjoying this card. He's been absolutely bodied there, though. He's gone again. Look at his pace, man. He is so quick. Like, he is insanely fast. Wow. I mean, he is ludicrously quick. Like, you know, I've kind of mentioned it a few times. But when we reviewed that Kuba, I think he had 99 pace or very close to... And he felt really slow. This Mane, his runs in behind for a starter are absolutely crazy. 
because he feels electric fast, especially on the AI as well. When he's making them runs in behind, he is rapid. What's that? Oh, good left stick dribbling. It's a good save. It's good goalkeeper movement. This guy's such a nerd. It's nice. We've got to try and get that finesse off. Yes! Oh, I like this card, man. I didn't think I would so much, but I like him. Here he goes again. He's got space here. And because he's got that relentless, he is really, really difficult to stop because he, he's just got full stamina literally all the time. I'm really enjoying this card, guys. I am. I'm really enjoying this card. And because he's got the six stamina, it just makes him really, really difficult to stop. Like, Mane's cards over the years anyway have been insane. And th this one actually does feel like it too. I, I really like the card. I really do. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this either. And I don't know if you know about sprint boosting and how OP it is. But it actually gives you better R... Uh, sorry, not R. L1, uh, whatever that is. Strafe dribbling, I think it's called. It makes it a lot better. And that's probably why his sprint boost feels so, so much better than other cards. Um... So far, guys, absolutely super impressed. Look at that. It's a great finish. I've got to say, as I went into this review, I probably wasn't expecting too much. You know, I think Mane's had great cards over the years, but this card I thought was going to really let me down due to the fact he's got not a lot of good play styles. Yeah, Finesse Plus is great. Quick Step Plus is great. And so is Ping Pass. But it kind of feels like the Relentless Plus and the Trickster Plus is a waste. And I just want to quickly tell you, that I was wrong regarding them two playstyle pluses. The Relentless Plus is very good if you play him out wide and you've got him on comeback on defense. It means that his stamina is never an issue. He can charge down the wings up and down with possession of the ball. He never runs out of stamina, which is very good if he's up and down the pitch all the time. If you're going to play him at striker, the Relentless Plus you will never use. So you can essentially chalk that off as having only three playstyle pluses at that point. But if you play him out wide as a left midfielder, or uh, even like a, a centre forward in the 3 4 2 1, for example, like I am, they do support defensively. So the Relentless Plus does actually bode well for people that play in them kind of formations. The other thing is Trickster Plus. I don't actually like this as an action to do in game, but once you combine it with Quick Step Plus and Sprint Boosting, if you guys don't know how to Sprint Boost, you've got to learn it. Just Google it, YouTube it, whatever. It, it will it will pop up for you. His L1 strafe dribbling is insane. And it's because of the Trickster Plus. It gives him better L1 stick dribbling. And his L1 dribbling is outrageous. Once you combine that with a Quick Step Plus and you learn how to sprint boost, he has the best sprint boost on FC24. And then you can also add in the Relentless Plus to that because you can just get the ball out to him all the time and he can just sprint boost all the way down the line at all times. And then you've got the ping pass, which means his cutbacks are very good. And then you've also got the finesse plus, and his finesses are absolutely brilliant as well. This card's awesome. Th this card surprised me, I have to say. You know, he feels electric, electric fast. He, he is one of the fastest players we'll use on the game. His shooting is very, very solid. I mean, you know, even with the boost here, I would say the shooting, bar his finesse shots, is one of his worst parts. Even though it's maxed out on 99 you could kind of feel out cards and he doesn't feel like he's got 99 finishing, but his finesse shots are outrageous. Passing is probably his weakest point. Um, you know, his passing's good, but you can't cross with him. You can only really do the cutbacks with him and short passes. You're not going to get any long balls off of him, anything like that. It's very much uh, ping passes with this card in terms of passing. Dribbling wise, his R1 dribbling actually wasn't too bad, all things considered. You know, he doesn't have technical at all. His R1 dribbling wasn't too bad. His left stick dribbling was very, very good. And then the physicals is something I've always loved about Mane over the years. Is He's super fast. He's got good shooting. But he's also strong physically. And he feels strong in game as well. You're not going to do anything with his headers. Don't expect anything from him in the air. But he does feel relatively strong in game. And one more thing to add. The Relentless Plus does actually help when you're second man pressing with him. Of course, it gives a longer second man press. And guys, I have to say, man... This is a good card. I do recommend him. I'm actually going to give him a 9.8 out of 10. There are a few issues with the card that I've talked about. But overall, I think he's a joy to play with. I think he's insanely fairly priced. And I think you should all go and get this card. Just have a little bit of fun. Make sure you take note of the things that I've said to utilize him correctly as well. But guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to so play with you. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now. So take care.